to introduce you to Flexi Layout Studio, I'll go ahead and open up a layout that's already been created. Uh, you can find a layout by looking for the extension FSP. I'll go ahead and open that up. And it'll bring up the GUI of Flexi Layout Studio, which allows you to create Flexi Layout elements and blocks, specify their properties, and view the results of matching your Flexi Layout with document images. The batch window right here contains a table of images for creating and fine tuning your layout. So you want to have representative images, the good, the bad, the ugly, and you can work with multiple batches within one project that can help with your debugging. The Flexi Layout window displays tree-like diagrams of the current Flexi Layout. The tree has branches, a block branch, and a search elements branch. We have a header group here as well. We can have actual clones of element trees, and those are called layout alternatives. So let's go ahead and pre-recognize all these images. I'll select them all, right-click, and select pre-recognize. Now, this is normally done automatically. So when you add images to a batch file, there's a setting where you can automatically pre-recognize images. But what pre-recognition does is it's doing full OCR. It's finding horizontal and vertical lines, and it's finding um, barcodes and logos, and we'll be able to analyze the results. To analyze the results, let me change my zoom here a little bit. I can click the L button and I can see lines of text. If I hover my mouse, I can see what the OCR quality is. And, um, you know, if you've got a good quality document, this isn't so important. But if you've got a poor quality document, this is very important to know what the OCR results are looking like. If you don't want to look at a complete line at once, you can click on W and just see one word at a time. And also you can look at horizontal and vertical lines. It may be hard to see, but all the horizontal and vertical lines are marked in green right now, as well as barcode values and logos. Now let's check on the identifiers. The identifiers prevent FlexiCapture from accidentally processing documents that don't belong to this given type. So an identifier, I can look at it in the header. I'll open up my header. And these are elements that are set to required. So by default, elements are optional. But by setting this to required, we know that we must find, if I click on the static text tab, the string statement of credit card account in order to match this layout. And I can move these dialog boxes around. And we can see that text right here. So now we will match all of the documents. I'm going to select them all and click match. And what it's doing now is it's applying the identification elements and a couple other elements to capture data. I can introduce some of these panes right now. We have a properties pane that tells us information about any element that we have selected. And I have an image window here. And in order to populate the image window, you need to double click on one of the images. When you match, you get a hypothesis window. And that is a very handy debugging tool. For instance, if I wanted to see the cardholder name, I can click here. And it's going to bring me to the cardholder name. If I want to see the cardholder number, it's going to bring me there as well. So a very easy to use intuitive debugging tool. Also, we have a log pane. So for instance, if this document didn't match, we would get a log message indicating that. And then we've got our standard toolbar containing buttons, which uh, correspond to standard commands in Flexi Layout Studio. We're currently looking at results for the first image we can look at um, all the images one at a time. Might be a little bit hard to see. Let me turn off this highlighting and change my zoom a little bit. And I can use these up and down arrows and look for blue highlights and green highlights to see the data 
that I've captured. And the data truly doesn't exist in exactly the same place on every form. It's pretty close on this particular set of documents, but we have the ability to find this data even when it moves around on the document. Actually trying to locate the data. So you could have a population here. Let's look next at one of our elements, the credit card number top and I'll go ahead and click on Relations, and here we can see um, relative areas specified to find the actual data that we're going after. So we'll learn a lot more about Relations later as part of the Flexi Layout Studio training. And also we have a concept here uh, called blocks. We have block elements, and Blocks are future Flexi Capture fields. If I open this up, we can see that this block is mapped to that element that we were just looking at. 